Bob Schieffer. And good day on this day of many news events. Final countdown underway now in Florida for the launch of Space Shuttle Atlantis. Atlantis all tanked up, ready to go. The crew of five with Navy Captain Donald Williams in command back inside and ready to fly. The weather's been touch and go again today because of thunderstorms in the area. The weather force cancellation, Final you'll recall, of yesterday's launch. And the San Francisco Bay Area earthquake is had an effect on today's launch start. attempt in Florida. An important Air Force tracking station in Sunnyvale, California, suffered some quake damage last night, but at last report, the station was up and operating. Keep in mind now that the launch window for today ends at about 1.20 p.m. Eastern time, so they have only a short time to do this if they're going to do it. The uh, main purpose of this shuttle mission, to carry the Galileo spacecraft into space and send it off to explore the planet Jupiter. Time, if today's liftoff is canceled, NASA will have to wait uh, at least 48 hours until Friday to get the shuttle ready again for a launch attempt. For the latest now, let's go to Bruce Hall, who's at the Kennedy Space Center. Bruce? Well, Bob, NASA may have a little bit of luck today. There are scattered showers in the area, but at the launch pad, at the moment, it's clear and so it's also clear at the emergency landing strip. The countdown has been very smooth despite the weather, no stops, no protesters, and aboard Atlantis is one of the most important planetary explorers to be hurled into deep space so far, the Galileo Jupiter probe. After a roundabout six-year journey, the $1.4 billion spacecraft will arrive at Jupiter. It will launch its own probe, a 750-pound package that will investigate belts of deadly radiation, violent lightning, and centuries-old storms ravaging the planet. Meanwhile, the orbiting Galileo will conduct a 22-month survey of Jupiter and its four largest moons. Anti-nuclear activists called off their attempt to send dozens of people into the launch area. To get near the shuttle, not only would they have had to have gotten by heavily armed SWAT teams, but also alligators, rattlesnakes, and wild hogs that roamed the area. Bob? Now reported at flight pressure. Two minutes and uh, nine seconds from liftoff now. And uh, joining us, uh, CBS News consultant and former astronaut, Carol Bobko, a veteran of three shuttle missions, including the maiden voyage of Atlantis in 1985. He has flown with uh, Don Williams. Uh, well, what do you think, sir? What uh, What's going through those astronauts' minds right now? Well, they're very busy right now just watching all of the automatic sequences take place and uh, getting ready Two to do the launch. the launch. You know, reviewing in their own minds the few last items that they have to do and will have to do during a launch. Uh, for instance, they change the landing site from uh, the one in Morocco to the one in Spain, and I'm sure they're thinking about that right now. About there's a only a minute or so left. We're ready to go. Minute 25, let's listen to the launch now. If there is a stop, a hold, it will come at uh, T minus 31. Three engines are ready, and the liquid huck hydrogen tank is at flight pressure. One minute. T minus one minute and counting. The heaters on the booster joints are being deactivated. Bob, at 31 seconds, it turns it over to automatic control and everything works automatically in the final 31 seconds. T minus 45 seconds. T-minus 31 seconds. This one is going to go. We have a go for auto sequence start. Atlantis's four redundant computers have primary control of critical vehicle functions through liftoff. T-minus 20. He finds 15. 11. 10. 9. We have a go for main engine start. 6. 5. 4. 3. Two, one. We have ignition and liftoff of Atlantis and the Galileo spacecraft bound for Jupiter. Houston now controlling. Roger roll, Atlantis. Roll program initiated, about a 110 degree roll maneuver. Guidance confirms a good roll maneuver. Looks good so far, Bruce. 
Oh, it looked very good so far. Everything looks uh, no problems at all. They got right through the clouds without any difficulty. The building here is shaking. This is one of the ones where we've had some of the most severe sound reverberations that we have seen here at the Kennedy Space Center. Velocity now 1,400 feet per second. Downrange distance three nautical miles. Atlantis, go with throttle up. Engines now throttle back up. Engines now back to 104%, all systems performing well. Standing by for separation of these solid rocket boosters at two minutes and four seconds. So just shortly, we'll see the uh, booster separation. Velocity now 2,700 feet per second, downrange 10 nautical miles. Bob, it's by far the most critical stage is the first uh, two minutes and four seconds until we have the separation of the solid rocket boosters. That's the time everybody still holds their breath through that first two minutes, four seconds. You think after a while you'd become used to these pictures, but every time you see this, no matter how many times you've seen it, it is an awesome sight indeed. This is the 31st flight, and it's always, there go the boosters. Right on schedule, it looks like a clean separation. Does not Separation appear to be any problems of SRBs at confirmed. Bruce, you've seen a lot more of these than I have, but I can never recall seeing a better picture of the separation than we just saw. That's an excellent picture of the separation, and it is very surprising considering the amount of clouds that we have here at the Kennedy Space Center uh, at this moment, because we've had showers in the area all morning Atlantis, long and are shooting through nominal. the clouds. Now, how high is the he now? Nominal call. Right now, he is at, uh, we are let's see, almost 4,000 feet. Uh, excuse me, the, uh, 4,000 miles per hour. Velocity now 4,800 feet per second, downrange 53 nautical miles. Atlantis, 46 KB1, miles high now. High speed. That's a real ship. Performance nominal, Last that's call, no a very Velocity good, encouraging down. sign. Everything is going just as scheduled when they say that. Atlantis, two engines, Zaragoza. Two engines, Zaragoza. The mentioning of Zaragoza the is the uh, alternate landing site if they had to make a, an abort in Spain. Carol, Bobco, you've been uh, on Velocity three of these missions. Uh, second, what's going on up there now? Miles. All well, everybody has sighed a sigh of relief that they are past the separation of the solid rocket motors. And believe it or not, the thrust goes down quite a bit. So the, the vibration is all left, and you're just looking at the main engines and making sure that they're all working properly to get you up into orbit. Well, this one is literally picture perfect so far, is it not, from what we can tell? Everything you can see and all the initial information coming from Johnson Space Center and from the Kennedy Space Center is that everything is perfect. They see no problems at all at the moment. Atlantis can now uh, not return to the Kennedy shuttle landing facility. Downrange 136 nautical miles, velocity 7,400 feet per second. APU is still performing well. Full continues to go well, of course, and uh, so far no indication that it will not. In about, uh, what, six hours, uh, six hours and 22 minutes, uh, they will Booster launch the uh, space probe, that little spaceship, which is atomic powered. Uh, has a pretty good sized price tag on it, $1.4 billion, and it will uh, go on out into space to study Jupiter, and its moons in order to learn more about the origin of Earth and the solar system. It's a pretty long trip out there to Jupiter. Uh, expects to get there about uh, 1995. Bob, this is being called the uh, second golden age of space science for the United States. Magellan is on its way to Venus, and we see the first of the videotape replays now. Houston now controlling. Roger roll, Atlantis. Roll program initiated, about a 110 degree roll maneuver. So Galileo is on its way, 
and as you indicated, they will be deploying it from the space shuttle in about six hours and three engines throttling back 20 minutes from now. 65 percent as Atlantis passes through the area. What a sight.